All right, so I'm going to show you how to levitate your object or objects or people or, um, or person, whatever you chose to do. Um, it's actually pretty simple. You're going to go up to File, and you're going to go down to Scripts, and you're going to load these files into Stack. And you're going to add Open Files, and you're going to make sure that Attempt to Automatically Align Source Images is checked. And then it's going to do its thing. All right, so now I have Taylor right here, and I am going to get rid of this chair because if I turn the top layer off, she's going to disappear. Um, you want to make sure that your person is on the top layer. If they aren't, then it will be a little bit more difficult. So you want to make sure that they're on the top layer. And then you're going to add a layer mask, which is right here. And you're going to get a white box on your layer. Um, down here you should have black and white. If you don't have black on top, just hit X and it will toggle back and forth between black and white. But you want right now, you want black on top. And then you're going to pick your brush tool and you're going to come up here and you can either use a soft or a hard round brush. I'm going to use a soft one to begin with. I'm going to make it a little larger. And then I'm going to zoom in by doing Command Plus. And I'm going to toggle through here. So now I'm really zoomed in on Taylor's foot. Um, if I hold space bar down, I get a little handle, um, a hand that will move me around. Okay. And now my brush is too big. So I'm going to go down to about 100. 94 is good. And I am going to start painting out the chair. Now, right now, I can tell that my pictures are two different exposures, probably because I had it in program mode instead of manual mode, so the lighting or the adjustment changed a little bit. And we can fix that later. Notice I don't have to worry about going around any of the little things because it's already there behind us, so I'm just painting it out. I'm going to get close to Taylor's foot, like so. Then I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to switch to a hard round brush, which is right here. So that way I can, and I'm going to make it smaller, even smaller than that. And then I can really get in close to Taylor's Ugg. I'm going to zoom in, Command Plus zooms in. I have a little piece right there. Now, if I, oh my gosh, I cut off part of her foot, what, whatever will I do? I'm just going to hit X so the white comes back up, and then I can paint that out, okay? Because if I were to commit, if I were to do Command Z, it would, it would get rid of all of the stuff that I brushed out, and I don't want to do that because I had brushed out quite a bit. So I'm just going to continue. Oops. And this is a pretty dark picture. It's edited not it's not edited because you don't want to edit it until both your pictures are combined. Right now I'm going to zoom out. Okay, so now I have like a ghost of the chair. It looks pretty darn bad. So what, what can we do to fix that? One of the things we can do is we can just paint in that whole background so it's all that dark color. So I'm actually going to do that um, because I don't want to match tones or anything like that. So I'm just going to pick a larger brush, pretty big. And some of you will not have to do this if your tones are correct. Mine, unfortunately, are not correct. So I'm going to come in here and just paint this out. And now I'm going to get, I want to do that with a soft round brush because then that blends it a little bit better. Because I don't want to get, um, have to like,
go back and go around Taylor's legs or anything like that. So with that soft brush, it blends it in and you can't even tell anymore. I'm just going to get a little close to that. I don't like that. We'll go way out here. There we go. All right, now you can't even tell. It was there. So now we have Taylor. I'm going to go in here just, and I'm very nitpicky when it comes to my stuff because everything needs to be look perfect. So I'm just going to fix that in there. And then I'm going to zoom out. And then I'm going to, if everything is perfect, which it is, I'm going to flatten my image. And then I'm going to run my actions on it, um, your Ashley's Clean Actions, whatever you want to run on it. Um, I'm going to run one of my workflows on it that I run quite a bit um, that I really like. Notice I did not crop yet. Um, I should have, um, but I'm running my action, so I'll just crop after because of multiple things. One, there is this white line on there, and I want to definitely get rid of that because it, it's not actually part of the picture. So Taylor's pretty dark right here, so I'm going to go in here. I'll go into my layers. I have lots of layers in here. I can add on highlights, tone down. I can turn this off, which I'm going to. I'm going to turn this, um, go in here, and I can lighten this, which is what I want. Um, and then I can make it even lighter. Maybe not quite that light. And then hide that. So go in here, and I can make things do exactly what I want it to do, to be quite honest with you, in Photoshop. Okay, so now I'm gonna crop that down. I'm gonna crop this one to a five by seven. Um, and I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna crop some of this out. Hit enter. And now I have Taylor mimicking the picture that is to the left of her. So again, I'm going to flatten this image. And I'm going to save it as finished. And to be honest with you, I am not going to have you guys put the before and after on there. I just want you to put your final picture on there. Um, otherwise, you'd have three pictures and comps. And I really want this to look more like kind of fool your audience on your website rather than um, show how you actually did it. So I don't, I don't want you to have to divulge that information. So make sure that you do not. You just only have to put this on there. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in class. Um, and you can also watch this video.